Come join as we race to the Rat's Aim Mill, completing the prologue in under 20 minutes on Hardcore and Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hit that like button and share your fastest time in the comments down below. You'll start off in Dialogue with Mother, where you'll select your starting skills, collect your things from the trunk, and then push through to the storage room. You'll grab five cabbages and then eat two before exiting the house. Clear away the tutorial message and then head towards Father's Forge. Dashing through Daddy's discourse, you can now leave to get the cross guard. Once obtained, turn left and head down to Kanesh's house. Initiate dialogue and pick the first option each time, then swiftly depart without incident and head over to Vanyak. Accepting Vanyak's invitation will get him moving towards the arena and away from the scene of your future crime. Rush to position behind the burner's apprentice with your back to the cart. Do a quick scan for potential witnesses, ensuring Vanyak is out of range, and then grab the charcoal along with the 20 groschen from the vendor sack. Sprinting directly to the tavern, initiate and skip the Deutsch's cutscene, then pick either option with Fritz and Matthew, as no matter what, they'll end up disappointed. Go chat up Bianca and select the first option both times to acquire Father's Ale. Now finished with the tavern, turn right and head towards the Deutsch's currently clean white house, and then right again to ascend the hill covered in white flowers. At the top, hop the fence and then go talk to Vanyak to start your sword training. The combat master will ask you to express yourself through the art of dance. Once he's satisfied, he will request that you slash at him five times and then complete three stabs. Finish him off by performing three chain strikes before being teleported out of the ring. Now turn left and run back along the fence line to bring Father his still cold ale. Let him know you're ready and then turn right after the cutscene to find Teresa awaiting her nails. Hand them over and prepare for your escape. It's time to sprint until you see the path turn sharply, then walk down the hillside and resume sprinting on the path below. As you run out of stamina, you'll want to walk for about 6 or 7 seconds to recover enough to make it to the nearest horse. Feel free to whistle upon approach, and then get on the horse, turning it to the left but not yet moving forward. Open your inventory as soon as possible and tab over to the horse tag. Unequip the saddle and then gallop a short way down the road to trigger a cutscene. Upon return, open the horse's inventory once again and unequip the now noble saddle that you'll find there, moving it to Henry's inventory if so desired. Without a saddle equipped, the horse will be much faster and it will be easier to stay ahead of the pursuing humans. Follow the road across the first bridge and then pass the church and prepare to turn into the grass after a small smoking hut. Follow the river past some bushes until finding a relatively clear spot to cross over. Do your best to aid a smooth transition from one side of the river to the other. You'll see the gold cross swords give way to silver swords as the humans lag further and further behind. You'll be able to make it a fair distance before needing to rest the horse. Provided you didn't get too hung up on the river's edge, stamina should carry you well past the bridge that lies ahead. When you hear the horse whinny, quickly stop galloping and instead canter for 6 to 7 seconds. This will restore enough stamina to gallop the rest of the way into Talmberg. After a cutscene, you'll find yourself in Talmberg Castle, and you'll want to go through the doorway ahead and turn right to find Captain Robart descending the stairs. Talk to him quickly, and then run past him, into the building behind and over to the kitchen door. This will trigger the introduction of Lady Stephanie, after which you should pick up two roast duck legs from the table. Run over to your new bed, and then eat the three cabbage and two roast duck before laying down to sleep. The goal is to select 2200 or later, as a cutscene will trigger at 2100. This first interruption is Lady Stephanie, who declined telling her your story this night. There are a few more cutscenes to skip before waking up, having been summoned to the battlements. You can ignore the torch behind you. Run to the stairs and up through the Chamberlain's room. His door will lead out to the battlements, where you'll turn left and round the corner to talk to Robart. You'll have to talk to him again after the cutscene, but wait until he fully turns around to address his guard. This should dispatch his men to their various stations. Time cannot be skipped in this moment while you await one guard in particular to come talk to you about the Night Watch. You'll have enough time to talk to him first and get just a little bit of speech XP before he's finally done pretending to do his job. Then, time can be skipped to 6, since at around 5.30 you'll be instructed to run to the forward battlements. Crossing the bridge here will trigger yet another cutscene. With that complete, it's time to get your horse. Unfortunately, the more direct route involves two drops that are all but guaranteed to injure your brittle bones, so you may wish to go the slightly longer way around back to the stables. 
used the horse to jump off the bridge and start galloping away from town, trying to keep some distance from the guards on the road as they are able to grab you for questioning from a considerable distance away. Should you get caught, just give up 10 groschen to have the guard let you go. Doesn't matter which direction you run to as long as it's away from town. After sufficient distance, a cutscene will trigger and it's time to continue on foot through Ravna. Take the high ground path towards Scalitz, crossing two streams before needing to veer right at the fork in the road. This will be a long walk requiring many breaks to regain stamina. The goal is to keep Scalitz slightly left of your reticule as you approach the front of town. There's a looter near the main entrance that can be avoided by going a bit wide prior to entry. Approach the place of your parents' demise before needing to double back and engage with Shubijek. Telling him to never mind and then choosing to intimidate twice will cause him to run away without attacking like the little rat that he is, allowing you to grab the shovel and get to the linden tree. Starting to dig will lead to a cutscene, after which you are looking to get wrecked by Runt as fast as you can. I find consistent success with strafing left towards his buddies while being careful not to get him in the way of his club. A cutscene leads to Fever Dream, where you'll want to look for the guard tower to orient yourself. Continuing this way, and shortly after that, the objective is reached. All that's left is to power through some dialogue with Teresa, and then you are free to enjoy the open world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. In the next one, I'll get your Henry geared up and ready for crime, so make sure to subscribe to see another Trial by Squire.